In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make an Airbus A320 in Minecraft full scale. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and better. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In terms of the dimensions for this one, it is 39 blocks long, 37 blocks wide and 13 blocks high. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a blank version, but you guys can apply your own liveries. And in fact, as I go through and do these as separate tutorials, I'll leave a link in the description to those videos to switch it out. This video is layer by layer. I'm going to be showing you guys every single block place as we build this aircraft up. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we are on my flat tutorial world. If you guys want to build a box so that you can have it parked in your airports, then feel free to do the same. It's 39 blocks long, 37 blocks wide. Materials wise, we're going to need some sort of block to measure things out. I'm going to use cyan concrete for mine. You're also going to need a block of neverite. That's for the wheels. Feel free to switch this out for any other black block. We're also going to need a birch fence gate, a stone button, iron trap door, and also a wither skull for the wheels, the little wheels at the front. Find the middle of the box now, so this is on the 37 side. What I've done is I've got five blocks gap and then placed down a block and that will give you the middle block there if you want to do it that way. From here what we're going to do is we're going to have a total of 22 blocks forwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a block every other one. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then it was 22 blocks. So I'm going to place two blocks on top of that one. Right from here, you're going to go over to one side and you're going to place down a block of neverite, then a birch fence gate, then a neverite block. Put a button on either side of that. And then do the same on the other side as well. Then from here, we're going to go forwards with five. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, like that. That's going to be our next block. And then going to the side now, we're going to be over with five blocks as well. So that's not including this one. Don't include this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then here, place another block so we can get an iron trap door and then come forwards with an iron trap door as well. So there we go. If we do that there, you can kind of see it. So one, two, three, four, five, two iron tra trap doors forwards from that. Same on the other side. Three, four, five, there we go, that was it there. And knock that out just like that. And then going forwards, we're gonna be seven blocks in total. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then right here, we're gonna place a block and then we're gonna be forwards with one with a birch fence gate. Knock that out there. Then with your wither skull, we're gonna have that on either side of this. This is gonna be your front wheels. You can do the same with the back ones as well, but I wanted to have smaller wheels at the front and bigger at the back. But guys, that is what you're gonna end up with for the first layer. For layer number two, we're gonna need more new blocks again. So we're gonna need a diorite wall, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stair, smooth quartz block, polished diorite stair, iron trap door, and also a deep slate brick stair. On each of your birch fence gates, we're gonna place the diorite wall on top. So if you guys wanted to be able to do this, obviously normally you just click onto it. If you do sneak and click, you'll be able to build directly on top just in case you don't know how to do that. Um, and if you get really stuck, you can always build up around to get to it. Now onto these bits. These are actually the engines that we've got here. So the first thing I'm gonna do guys is we're actually gonna place an iron trap door right on top of that one there. Behind this on the next iron trap door, we're gonna have a stair. So this is all facing forwards where you've got that bit is facing forwards. That's gonna be your kind of like first little bit there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an upside down uh, smooth court stair on the side of that one. And then we're gonna move back as well. So we've got one, two, three in total. Then a smooth court slab on the back there. Same on the other side, one, two, three. Then a slab on the back there. We have your smooth quartz block now, have that in the bottom as well. So one, two, three of those ones. And then right at the end now, we're gonna have a deep slate brick stair upside down right on the end. In the middle of this now, we're gonna have a polished diorite stair upside down there and upside down there like that. Let's do the same on the other side now. So again, iron trap door right in the middle. A normal smooth quartz stair here, then an upside down smooth quartz stair. 
It's going to be three of these going back, two and three like that, one, two, three, then a slab. Same on the other side, one, two, three, and then a slab. Smooth quartz blocks in the middle, one, two, three. Right at the end now, we're going to have a deep slate brick stair upside down right on the end, just like that. That's it for layer number two. On to layer number three now. Grab yourself a stone slab, stone stair, and stone block, as well as a lever. That'll get us started. We're going to do this in a couple different sections. First, what we'll do is we're going to place a block of stone directly on top of the last layer, which is the small uh, wheels that we've got at the front. We're going to go forwards with two whole blocks, one and two. Then what we're going to do is with a slab, we're going to have one slab right on the front here like that. Then on the side of this right here, we're going to have two slabs, one and two. Then with your stone stairs, we're going to have upside down and going towards the middle. And we're going to have a total of five of these, but only four of them are going to be doing this way. We're going to have one that's going to be facing towards the back. So I'll show you guys what I mean. We've got one, two, three, and four. And then the next one, we're going to have facing towards the back so that it curls around like that. Now we're going to go out, so diagonal from that stair that we've got there. We're going to have a slab. We're actually going to have two slabs in total. One, two there. Then we're going to have eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do the same on the other side. So we're going to have two slabs here. One and two. Four stairs. One, two, three, and four. And now we're going to add another stair, which is facing towards the back so that it curls around like that. Go diagonal from this one, we're going to have two slabs, one and two, and then eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're going to fill this in all with your stone now, okay? There we go, like that. With your lever, go right to the front now, and we're going to just place this behind here, so that it's kind of connecting in to the main wheel, so you can kind of see where it ends up going from there. On to the back now, what we're going to do is with our stone slab now, we're going to have two of these on the end, so one and two. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move in, diagonal, we're going to have one stone block. Then, just like we did before with those stairs, we're going to have one, this time facing the, for, uh, the front, and then we're going to have two sideways, okay? So one, two there, so three in total, but that one's facing the front, so it wraps around. Two goes into there. We're then going to have three slabs, one, two, and three. Then moving in, we're going to have a stair. This time, this stair will be facing the back of the uh, plane. And we're going to have two slabs on the end of that, one and two. They're like that. On to the other side now, we're going to have two slabs first, one and two. We're then going to have one block coming diagonal and in, just to here. A stair where you're going to be facing the front of the plane and then two just facing the middle of it. So you get three stairs here like that. With your slabs, have three slabs on, one, two, and three there. And then fill all this up with your stone. There we go. Right, so with your diorite wall, we're gonna build that up one on each of these uh, kind of side wheels. <laughs> I don't know what you wanna call them. Um, and then we're gonna have a lever just facing inwards from this. And the same on the other side as well, like that. Now, still with your lever, where you have that one block, we're actually going to have one right underneath here. It's going to be facing towards the back of the plane, where it's just sticking out there like that. Onto the engines now, we're going to need to grab some more blocks. So grab yourself a diorite wool, smooth quartz block, an anvil, shroom light is what I ended up using in mine, um, a deep slate brick wool, mangrove trapdoor, and also an Iron trapdoor. Now, iron trapdoor we can switch out. I'll show you why in a second. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to have a diorite wall just one back from the front. Behind those, we're going to have a smooth quartz block. In between that, we're going to have an anvil. Behind each of these, we're going to have two shroom lights. You can go with one if you want to, it's totally up to you. And then with your diorite wall, we're going to have those two on the outside of those shroom lights. So, two are right here. With your deep slate brick wall, we're going to have that poking outwards like this. And then with your mangrove trapdoor, we're actually going to have this right on the end, and we're going to stick that up there like that to make it come to a small kind of point there. Okay. On the front now, this is where you may have a bit of an issue. So I can use iron trapdoors like this. We actually want to push them upwards, and we want to do the same as well 
on the outside and in fact over these bits as well. Now the way that we can do that in Java edition is I can actually give myself a debug stick. And with that debug stick, we can then loop through until we find the open property and we can then just right click to actually knock those up like that. And that allows us to, to kind of do exactly what we want. If you guys can't do that, no problem at all. Find yourself another trapdoor that you like the look of and go with that, you know, birch trapdoor because it's quite white for this one is quite white on the engines. That will probably be your closest. Um, but if not, you know, we can, you know, use those if you can, guys can do that uh, there. So let's do the same on the other side now. It turns out I totally forgot about the polished diorite stairs. So put those on first to get two of those in there. Who knows what's going on? Um, and then what we're going to do is the same thing. So one back, a diorite wall. Behind that, a smooth quartz block. In between those, we're going to have an anvil. Behind that, two shroom light. On the sides of the shroom light, we're going to have two diorite walls like that. Coming out towards the back, we're going to have a deep slate brick wall just sticking out. And then finally, right here, we're going to have that mangrove trapdoor just sticking out right at the end. Now, onto our uh, iron trapdoors in my case. I'm going to place them here so that I can then push them up using that debug stick. Now, the cool thing about the debug stick is it does remember where you were. So I can just right click all of these because it knew that's the property that I wanted to switch to open. So we can then have that in there like that. But anyway, guys, that's it for layer number three. On to layer number four, and we're going to switch back to our white blocks. So for that, we're going to need a smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stair, smooth quartz block. We're also going to need a smooth stone slab, a polished diorite stair, iron trapdoor, and also quartz slab, quartz stair, and quartz block, or block of quartz. The reason being that those, we're going to be using the uh, kind of block version of the smooth one to kind of differentiate between the doors. It's the closest thing that we kind of got, all right? So grab those. Then at the front, what we're going to do is with our smooth quartz block, we're going to place that directly on top of the slab that we had at the front. We're going to come forwards with an upside down smooth quartz stair. That should bring you to the edge of your box. On the side of this one, we're going to place another stair as well. Then we're going to have one block of smooth quartz behind. With your smooth quartz slab, we're going to go diagonal from this and we're going to have two of those, one, two. Then you're going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair facing towards the middle of the plane. Then grab yourself your quartz stair, not smooth, and place that down. That's going to be the first door. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a smooth quartz stair where you're looking towards the back of the plane. Okay, so you've got one, two, three there. Now what you'll notice is you've got a little gap, so you're going to put in two blocks just at the front there. So let's do the same on the other side. We've got that smooth quartz stair here, smooth quartz block behind. Then with your smooth quartz slab, we're going to be out with two of these, one, two, like that. Then an upside down smooth quartz stair here. Then a quartz stair upside down. And then a smooth quartz stair where you're looking towards the back. So you get three right there and fill in the gap with smooth quartz blocks behind like that. Now behind this uh, stair that we've actually got here, we're going to have a total of 13 smooth quartz blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like that. Then what we're going to do is with your smooth quartz stair, we're going to have one facing towards the front of the plane, right there. And we're going to have three going sideways. 1, 2, 3. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 in total one facing that way there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have three smooth quartz slabs on the end of this. One, two, three. And then a quartz slab right there. Then diagonal from this, we're going to have a smooth quartz block. And that's going to have two smooth quartz slabs on the end. One and two. Then moving to the center line now, we're going to have two, if I can place it, two smooth quartz blocks there like that with two smooth quartz slabs on the end, one and two there like that. Do the same on the other side now. So with our smooth quartz stair first, face forwards, we're going to have one there. Three sideways, one, two, and three. We're going to have three smooth quartz slabs on the end of that, one, two, three. And then a quartz slab on the end of that. Moving inwards diagonally, we're going to have a smooth quartz block right here. That's going to have two smooth quartz slabs on the end like that. 
Okay, so before we fill in this bit, where we've got that quartz slab, we're going to have a block of quartz behind it, like that. And then the rest of these we're filling in with smooth quartz block. Now you can, if you want to, switch these out to slabs. It's totally up to you and what you want to do with the interior, but I usually find that these aren't very useful if you put them as slabs, whereas at least if they're blocks, you can put things on them. So you've got a bit of a surface to work with. On to the wings now, what we're going to do is where we've got that 13 blocks going back, we're going to count four of these, one, two, three, and four. And then on the fifth one, we're going to use a smooth quartz slab right here. And we're just going to stick that out. So you've got four blocks that you can see from the side, ignore your stair, okay? One, two, three, four there. We're then going to be diagonal towards our engine block. So we've got diagonal from there like that. Now behind this, we're going to have a total of five smooth quartz slabs, one, two, three, four, and five. And then at the back, we're gonna drop this down with a smooth quartz slab right here. Now, what we'll do under is we're actually gonna build this bit up. So all of these uh, smooth stone, we're gonna build that up right here. So it gets a little bit chunky here. That allows you to connect into your wheels. Onto the engine part of it, we're gonna have that polished diorite stair. We're now gonna be completing this going around. So we're gonna have a stair right there. Then behind it, we're gonna have two smooth quartz uh, stairs, one and two on this side. And then on the other side, of course, we're gonna have that diorite stair there like that. But this time we're gonna have three of them going back, one, two, and three here like that, with a smooth quartz slab on top of the last one. Then just like we did before, we're gonna have a stair. So we had a stair there, we're gonna have an upside down stair just on top of that one, you know, mirroring it even. Um, And then behind that, with your smooth quartz block, we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have a smooth quartz slab. So that just goes right over this little gap that we got. Then you get a slab there like that. Okay. Now with your smooth stone slab again, we're going to have four of these on the upper piece here. So one, two, three, and four. And we're going to do the same again here. So one, two, three, four. The only difference is that when we go on to the under of the underside of the wing. Where we've got these two diorite walls on the inside, we're gonna just build those two up to full blocks of your smooth quartz. That's not right, smooth, not smooth quartz, smooth stone, okay? Smooth stone, not smooth quartz. Um, so there we go, that's what we get there. Then what we'll do right on the back here is with our smooth quartz slab, we're gonna have one upper here, like that. Then we're gonna do is you're gonna need a guide block. So directly in the middle of that engine block that we've got here, place a block there, leave a gap and have another block here, okay, to there. And then what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna have a smooth quartz slab on the side, one going back, and then two iron trap doors coming off of that there. So that's what you end up getting right there. Now, the only other thing we need to do is put in a iron trap door right in the middle of this bit here. And in fact, if we want to, we can put one on the top and we can have one going back. I know it's onto the next layer, but it will save us a couple block places at least. So we're gonna now get rid of those guide blocks. Then onto the other side, grab yourself your polished diorite. We're gonna have that just directly over the top of each of those with your stairs, okay? In the middle of that, we're gonna have an iron trapdoor. Then depending on which side you're doing it from, we're gonna be looking towards the middle of the plane. So we're gonna go one, one, two, three with our smooth quartz stairs. And then we're gonna have a smooth quartz slab on the inside part of it, so the pit bit nearest to the plane, we're gonna go one and two like that, okay? Then what we'll do is right behind here with our smooth quartz, where we had the stair there, we're gonna be just mirroring that. We're gonna have the upside down stair there. Then we're gonna have four blocks of smooth quartz behind this, one, two, three, and four, and then a smooth quartz slab coming out from there. Then onto the wing part of it, we're gonna count four back from here. So one, two, three, four, go to the fifth one. So we've got four blocks showing. And then we're gonna have another smooth quartz slab coming in towards it. So we've got smooth quartz slab there. Then another one here. Behind this one, we're gonna have five um, smooth stone slabs. One, two, three, four, five. And on the end, we're gonna have a lower smooth quartz slab. Just on the inside of this, we're gonna be building up the smooth stones to a full block here and that will connect in your wheels at the back there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one, two, three, four with your smooth stone and then the same again, one, two, three, four. On the inside of this one where we've got the diorite walls, we're gonna be building that up to full blocks on the back part of those, just like that, okay? 
Then what we can do on top of this is we can have a iron trapdoor and one going back as well, though it's technically onto the next level. It'll be all right. Um, at the back now, with your smooth quartz slab, we're going to have that upper in the middle of those ones there. And then grab yourself some sort of guide block on the end of the center line of your engine. We're going to place down that block, leave a gap, have another block there going out towards this bit. And then on the side of this, we're going to have a smooth quartz slab. Smooth quartz slab going backwards and then two iron trap doors going back from that. So you can kind of see where that ends up being like that. And try not to get yourself, uh, you know, moved around. It's really easy to uh, forget where the center line is when you're building these things. On to layer number five now, guys. We're going to add in some stuff on the previous layer, of course, because I forgot some. So just where we had these two slabs here, we're going to add in two iron trap doors right on the end right there so just this one that's raised up to go out that'll help us and we won't forget then let's go through a couple blocks now because of course we've got some new changes lots in this tutorial so we've got the smooth quartz slab stair and also block we're gonna need a diorite wall white stained glass pane block of quartz stone button polished diorite stairs and also an iron trapdoor okay so with your smooth quartz stair around the front place a stair directly on top of the last layer this time it's going inwards we're then going to have a diorite wall that's going to be on top of the light stair right there. Behind that, we're going to have a smooth quartz block. On the side of this one, we're going to have a white stained glass pane coming out. And then one back behind that, we're going to have a diorite wall. We're then going to have two smooth quartz blocks, one and two. And now you should be where you had that upside down quartz stair before. We're going to place a block of quartz on top with a button on it. Okay, so whack that in there. We're then going to have a smooth quartz block. And now we're going to do the windows. So for these, we're going to be using stairs. So uh, grab yourself your smooth quartz stair. We're going to have seven of these. We're going to be facing forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're then going to have two polished diorite stairs, one and two. And then we're going to have nine smooth quartz stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's get on to the other side now. It's the same thing, of course. We're going to have that diorite wall. One block of smooth quartz behind it. Coming out, we're going to have that white stained glass pane. Behind that, we're going to have a diorite wall. We're then going to have two blocks of smooth quartz. And then we'll have a block of quartz with a button on it. That's going to be our door. We're then going to have a smooth quartz block. Then seven smooth quartz stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to have two polished diorite stairs. One, two. Then we're going to have a total of nine smooth quartz stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that. Right. Let's keep going to the front now. With your smooth quartz block, we're going to have one behind here, one in the front, one there. We're also going to have one right in the middle because we're going to have glass on top of this. We're going to have the cockpit part of it on there. Onto the back with your smooth quartz block. We're going to have two of them behind those stairs, one and two. Then what we've got that quartz slab, we're going to have the quartz block on top and whack a button onto it. That's your other door. Then continuing on from that, we're going to have a smooth quartz block and then a lower smooth quartz slab off the end of that. Okay, so we've got that there, block, slab, like that. Then coming diagonal from this, we're going to have a smooth quartz block. We're actually going to have two of them, so one's going to be on top of that slab, one's going to be coming backwards. Then we're going to have three smooth quartz slabs, one, two, and three. And then diagonal from that, we're going to have a smooth quartz block with a slab on the end, and then we're gonna have an iron trapdoor as well. That'll bring you to the edge of your box if you're building it in a box. Same on the other side, of course. So we're gonna have two smooth quartz blocks, then a block of quartz with a button on it. We're gonna have a smooth quartz block coming out from that one with a lower slab here with your smooth quartz. Move diagonal from that, we're gonna have two blocks, then three uh, smooth quartz slabs upside, not upside down, on the upper piece, two, three, like that, okay? And then with your blocks, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the gaps with your smooth quartz here, like that, there we go. Onto the wings now, we're gonna do the right-hand side first, so we're facing forwards. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our smooth quartz slab, we're gonna be from this one, where you got the lower upper, we're gonna be on the lower of this level, and we're gonna have three of them going across, two and three. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal and we're going to have a two here that will land on top of that slab there. So we've got two slabs just here from the last layer. Then we're going to be up like this and we're going to have two across. Okay, so we've got three here. 
it's technically a five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to be back again. We're going to have a three, two, and three. And then one back again from that there, okay? So we're just going to be building the outline. So we've got three, two there, go up. Another two on the same level. Three, and then a one. Now with your iron trapdoor right in this corner here, we're going to have two iron trapdoors sticking out. Where we have these iron trapdoors here, we're going to have one on the one that's closest to the wing. And the same here as well on the lower piece like that. Now what we'll do is where our engine is, so we're now facing the back part of the ship, where we've got this slab over here, that's going to be our starting point. We're going to have two here. Then we're going to be moving back. We're going to have another set of two. Then we're going to be moving back, but also go up as well onto your upper slab. We're going to have two. Two. And then another two. And then a one here, okay? So we've got two, 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 one. But... You know, those two are lower, those ones are upper like that. Now what we'll end up doing is grab our smooth stone slab and we're going to have these in the middle of these, okay? When you get to this one right here, we're actually going to be out by one there and then join that in there, okay? So it's kind of like angled as well as we're going up. These ones, however, are just at the same level. And the one at the end right here, we're just going to put in a stone slab right there, like that. For the lower part, where we get onto this bit, we're going to have an extra two slabs right here. Just go over to kind of join it all up. You could go a third one if you want to. Depends on what you what you like, really. Um, totally up to you. I just had two, though, like that. Right, let's get on to the other side now. So we'll start with the back piece again, again with your smooth quartz slab. So again, we've got these lower one, upper one. We're going to go one, two, three. Then we're going to go, not that way, we're going to go back. Okay, so we're looking towards the front, we're going to go back. And that goes over to this one. So you should be on top of this bit, not like forwards from it. Okay, then we're going to be up. And we're going to have two. So we've then got that set of four there. Then we're going to go back again. We're going to have three, two, and three. And then diagonal from one of this, like that. Now in this little gap, we're going to have two iron trapdoors. With the other iron trapdoors, we're going to build up the one that's closest to the wing, like there. Okay. Then what we'll do is the next part of it, which is the front part. We've got this slab. We're going to be over it. We're going to have a total of two slabs. We're going to be working our way back to this now. Okay, so we've got another set of two. Then we're going to be up this time. Again, back with two. So we've got two 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 and another two so we've got four sets of two and then we've got a one at the end there like that okay so what we'll do is with our uh, smooth stone slab now build these up around here like this except when we get to the next level when it goes up join that across there but push it out by one and we have the lower one there so you end up getting that gentle um, curve not really curved, that's not the right word. You know what I mean, slope, there we go. Um, join those in the middle there, and also have one on the end there. And then finally, where we've got this bit here, we're going to have two right there like that. So we go one, two, one, like that. That's it for layer number five. For layer number six now, guys, we're again going to go through our materials. Smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stair, smooth quartz block. You can need a polished deep slate wall, which you haven't had before. A grey stained glass pane, iron trap door, Quartz slab, stair, and also a block of quartz. Come to the front, and what we're going to have is first our polished deep slate wall. That's going to be right in the middle here, so where we put that block in there. We're then going to have a grey stained glass pane either side of that, and then behind that, a polished deep slate wall. So this is to make the windows look more rounded. On the front here, we're going to have an iron trap door like that. Also going to have an iron trap door right in the middle of these like that there. With your smooth quartz block, we're going to have two of these behind, one and two. So behind your deep slate wall, one and two. And that'll pull that all, making it look quite good, just like that there. On the side now, we're going to have a iron trap door first. Then we're going to have a smooth quartz slab on the lower piece there. Then we're going to have a quartz stair. This is going to be facing, or you're going to be facing towards the back of the plane. So plonk that in there. And then we're going to have 19 smooth quartz stairs going all the way back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Would have been much easier if I'd just written down on top of these windows, wouldn't it? 
but uh, who knows. Let's do the same on the other side now. So we get that iron trap door, then a smooth quartz slab, then we get a block of, not a block of quartz, a quartz stair facing backwards, so you're going to be facing backwards. And then we're going to have those 19 slabs, or directly on top of all of these stairs that you got down there for your windows. Much, much easier, isn't it? There we go. Plonk that in there, like that. And then at the back, guys, come to the right-hand side. We're going to have two smooth quartz slabs, then a quartz slab right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be back and also in, okay? And we're going to have a total of four of these. One, two, three, and four blocks like that. Smooth quartz stair, the first one is going to be where you're looking forwards. We're going to have three of those. So you're going to go one, two, and three. So the next two facing towards the middle of the plane. Then at the back, we're going to have two smooth quartz blocks on the end there. All right, let's do the same on the other side because we're also going to need some other blocks, of course. So we have two smooth quartz uh, slabs. Then we're going to need a quartz slab. Moving in, we're going to have our smooth quartz block. We're going to have four of those, two, three, and four. Then smooth quartz stair, try not to fall down. Face the front, and we're going to have the first stair there, and then two on the side here, like that. And now what we're going to do is with our quartz slab first, we're going to be on the same bit there. This is our full quartz where we've got the door. And now we're going to use smooth quartz slabs to go all the way forwards, okay? All the way forwards because this is the kind of seating part. Now when you come to this bit where you've got the other uh, stair, we're going to place in a slab there, okay? So your normal quartz slab. And then the rest are going to be smooth, just to differentiate, differentiate between doors and the main kind of uh, body of the plane. Right at the back, grab yourself a polished deep slate stair, and then we're going to put iron trap doors all the way around this. So again, I'm going to use that debug stick, which we used it before, and we're just going to knock these down to close it around. You can, of course, use other trap doors like you could have done down there as well. Onto the final little bit for this layer, go onto your wings, and we're going to build up just the bit that's closest to the wing again with your iron trap door, so to double that one up. And now, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but we can do it. I'm going to go out with a smooth quartz slab here. Then we're going to have a smooth stone slab. And then we're going to have a smooth quartz stair here, going towards the outer part of it. Then right in the middle of these, we're going to have an upper slab right here. So we're just building this out. So all of that's going towards the back kind of angle, if you know what I mean. So that way, okay. So let's do the same on the other side now. So the first one is going to be a slab coming out with your smooth quartz, that is, then a smooth stone slab, then a smooth stone, a uh, smooth quartz stair. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a smooth quartz slab in the middle of those on the upper piece like that. And don't forget your iron trap door on this bit to build it up by one. On to layer number seven, we've got a simplified number of blocks now. So we've got the smooth quartz slab, uh, stair, and also block as we have been. White carpet is a new one. We've also got iron trap door and a smooth stone slab as well. From the front now, what we're going to do is where we've got the diorite walls, we're going to place a white piece of carpet on top of those. Where we had the iron trap door in the middle here, we're going to place one on top of that. Then behind this, we're going to have two smooth quartz slabs, one and two. Then we're going to have a smooth quartz stair. Now what we're going to do behind this is we're going to have 14 slabs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we're going to do the same thing with our smooth quartz stair. Have another one of those. Then we're going to have seven slabs behind this now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then with our smooth quartz block, we're going to have seven blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like that. The only thing at the end is we're going to have a slab right on the end there like that. Okay, and now what we'll do is grab yourself your iron trap door. We're going to have those on top of the slab that we put in last time. Keep on bringing this back. We're not even going to count these, okay? Just going to need a lot of them. Right to here. There we go. Okay, get to where you're in line with your blocks, and we're just going to be two past your blocks or next to your blocks, okay? So it's a lot easier, obviously, doing it from the other side. We can just bring these all the way to the front here, like this. So it's easier place them all over the place. There we go. So that's where you end up getting there. Now come to the back. I mean to edit a little bit because I didn't do it right. Uh, 
take away that slab that you had there. You can have a smooth quartz stair and then a slab. I knew there was a slab on it. I didn't remember the stair because it's slightly different than down here. Now somehow, don't ask how, I forgot the horizontal stabilizer, which is at the back here. Grab yourself your smooth stone slab. We're gonna be on the last layer here, down here, and we're gonna go first three of these on the lower, where we've got these stairs. Go one, two, three out. Then we're gonna go back. We're gonna have two of them right here. Coming off of this one, we're gonna have one coming forwards. Then we diagonal one coming towards the plane. Then we're gonna have two going across here like that. We can just fill in that gap. So that's what you end up getting, okay? So you've got three, two, turn it around, go one there. So you've got two there in total. One diagonal and two across. So right here, one, two, three, four. Sorry, not four, three. <laughs> and then we're gonna have two, one, two. And then one forwards, one diagonal towards the plane, two across to the plane as well. Like this and fill those in there like that. I have no idea how I missed that. And then finally for the winglets that we're gonna have right here, okay? So we've already got that slab down the bottom. We've already got the stair down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be over this bit here with a uh, stone, smooth stone slab. We're then gonna have a smooth quartz stair. And then behind this, we're gonna have some pieces like this. When we put these up, let me change the... There we go, whack them up to open i have three of them on the end there. Now I have also seen, I think they're called sharklets, but uh, you guys will correct me. Um, I've also seen stuff like that as well with them. Where they've kind of got ones that go in kind of a bit out and they've also got one down the bottom as well. Um, for me, we're just gonna do these three here like that. And again, guys, if you can't do it with those um, trapdoors, you can't change them, that's okay. You know, use other trapdoors, not a problem. So again here, we're gonna have that smooth stone slab. Then we're gonna have a smooth quartz stair here. Then we're gonna have three in total of your iron trapdoors like that. Okay, so we're now done with most of the hole, uh, definitely done with the wings, so we can just finish up this uh, piece here. On to the final piece, guys, the vertical stabilizer. So we've got these seven blocks down the bottom here. We're only gonna need our slab, stair, and also block, so that makes things a lot easier. We're gonna leave that first block. We're gonna have a slab, okay? That's what we're gonna have first. Then we're gonna have a block. And behind that, we're gonna bring that all the way it's in line with the uh, back that we've actually got here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a stair next. So we've got like this uh, stepping up pattern that we've got there, a block, slab, block. Then we get a stair. Now with this, we're gonna have blocks again, but this time on the end, we're gonna have an upside down stair here as well. Next one, I'm gonna be back by one with another stair. And we're gonna have blocks, and that's just gonna be on top of that layer there. Do it again, we're gonna have another stair. And this time, we're gonna have an upside down stair sticking out. And finally, we're gonna have a stair with two blocks behind. And then two slabs on the top like that to build your vertical stabilizer. And that then finishes up the fin. For the final bit, guys, you're gonna need a debug stick. So that's why I put it at the end in case you can't get it, okay? So what we'll do with the debug stick is we're gonna be changing some of the blocks, like this one, for example. Uh, in this case, we're gonna be facing east. We're gonna make that high. So we want the bit that's there, obviously it depends on the direction you made it. We want that one to be high. And we're also gonna do the same with north as well. Yep, so we need north as well to go high. And this one is gonna be west being high. Um, I would not recommend removing the middle part, the up part, because then you can't actually see the whole block. But there we go, that's what we get. Right, so with this one, however, um, yep, we're gonna build up, not west, but uh, east to high, north to high, south to high, and we're gonna get rid of the middle block so it's all a lot smoother. Do the same on this one as well, obviously the other way round though. Uh, we want, not east, but we want everything else to be high. So let's get that there, there we go, like that, so that looks good. Now if we get onto the engine, the one in the middle here, we wanna actually build that one forwards. So that is, for us, we've got already got north tool, we want south to be tool, and we also wanna get rid of the middle part of it just to give it a little bit more of a smoother look like that. And then with the engine, what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of that up piece so it's all really smooth. With this end one now, we actually want this one to be low, okay? But with no up piece. So we've got these ones are tool, this one is not tool. 
just to give it a little bit more of a shape to it. So let's get rid of those, get rid of that. And what we want is north to be low like that. So we've then got that sticking out there. Cool. So all we need to do is the other engine now. So again, this one in the middle, we want this to be coming forward. So we need, for me, I want south. So it's coming forwards like that. And we want it upper as well. Same here. I want to get rid of the up. There we go. That looks perfect. With these side ones, we want to get rid of all the ups. So I'm going to do that on... Actually, sorry, that was north that I've just done then. Um, let's go down and look. That's up. That's weird. I did not notice that before. Um, so there we go. All right. So those ones are all got rid of the up part. This one, we want to get rid of the up part as well. And this one. And they're already on lower like that. That is looking perfect. There we go. Those are your little debug stick bits and pieces. Just to add in that extra little touch of making it a little bit smoother. But anyway, guys, that is it for this tutorial. If you're looking for liveries, I'll leave a link in the description to all the liveries that I've done of this plane. Now, if you guys want specific liveries and I haven't done them yet, make sure to post that in the comments below of any of my videos, and I will pick that up at some point in the future. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. If you really enjoy my content, then make sure to check me out on Patreon. Really appreciate your support over there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.